what does it take to actually succeed? This is a new format. So how does it work and how can you actually hold your events to make sure that it's a success on your end? First is creating a seamless donor experience. Using the approaches we just talked about, make your donor experience stand out. Before the event, make it easy and make it fun for them. Have tickets, raffle tickets, and silent auctions online. On the day of the event, encourage people to use the chat if we're virtual, or donate and bid as the event's actually happening. And make it easy for people that are also engaging with their friends in the room. Think about the different elements and the different components of your event. What does it look like if I'm experiencing it while I'm in the room? Or what does it look like as I experience it from my home? Think about how that works and think about what kind of elements or, or key moments you really want to highlight. And the next piece, just like we just talked about, so give your donors options to participate in person or virtually depending on their preferences. And number three, increase the amount of fundraising elements you include to appeal to an entire audience. I said this a couple times before, but you know, maybe as a donor, I can't afford to give to some higher priced items, but a small donation or a small raffle ticket actually is something I can afford to do. And at the end of the day, it does all add up. Remember that what you are doing is actually a fundraising event. So it is okay to ask your donors to give, but when you do it, make it easy and make it simple so that they actually feel like they can give rather than um, having to jump through a whole ton of loops. So, as we're wrapping up here, and I, like I said, we're going to open up this, the floor to some questions here too, because I really want to hear what you guys are thinking. But where do we go from here? I just shared a ton of information right now. So the first thing you wanna, you're going to want to do is pull out your phone again and scan that QR code and download the report that I just mentioned, because it does dive really deep into some of these findings, as well shares a little bit more insights, especially around the donor side, around what does it look like, what are donors liking, or what are some things that we want to shift towards moving. And then you're going to want to ask yourself some questions. What have I done in the past that's really worked? What do I want to keep? What do I want to improve? Or what do we know we want to bring back? On the flip side, what do we know we don't want to bring back? What are some things that we know we can, that we can change? Don't be afraid to talk to your donors about it. Ask them that, what they want to see. Ask them what they're excited about to kind of gain some of their insights. And then think about how you can create an inclusive experience with plenty of ways to give for all of your donors regardless of who they are.